Hello guys, it's been a long time since I've uh, made a video. So uh, today's video is about some simple coding tutorials and some basic tips on the programming language Python. I'm just uh, just gonna uh, show you guys some basic stuff or some basic uh, statements and conditions where you guys can use in order to answer your IGCSE or GCSE computer science. I know most of you might have, might use programming language of Python in your IGCSEs and GCSEs computer science. So let's get started started with it. So if you guys like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. So let's begin. So now a string. What's a string? A string is any piece of text. So any piece of text is a string. Okay. So if I give, for example, the word cars cars becomes a string and automatically automatically becomes a string because it's a piece of text now our next thing is to understand what's a variable now a variable is a storage location so anything that is given a certain value or a certain set of data that's a, a, that an object is holding is called a variable so in order to make this word cars a variable all we need to do is just put an equal sign. It automatically becomes a variable. So cars automatically becomes a variable. So now you cannot leave it like this. You have to store some certain values in the variable name cars. So in order to do this, if you're storing strings, that is a piece of text, you need to always put double quotation marks. So now what do I mean by this? You just you just hit shift and double quotation marks. So now the quotation marks do not matter if you use single or double quotation marks. So in this case, I'm just going to use double quotation marks just for your examples and reference. So now I'm just going to store the value or the string in this case, which is going to be Ford. Ford is a car. So I can store Ford. I can store like any certain a set of data, but the Ford is the most basic example of how you're storing a piece of string in a variable. So in this case, Ford, which is stored in double quotation marks is stored in the variable name cars while we put an equal sign all right that's a basic thing now some people might ask what's a constant a constant basically is a storage location where the value cannot change within the running of the program so in order to like define a constant constant is the same thing as a variable there is no change you just need to give caps uh, capital letters that's it so if I say for example car ID we can call this car ID. Now the reason why I put car ID, we can put an underscore there just to clarify that. Now car ID is in caps and this car ID is not going to change within the running of the program. So the value that is stored in car ID as a variable is not going to change. So I can put an equal sign to make this a variable. So but this and this because it's capital it automatically becomes a constant. So I can store maybe the number 678. Okay. 678 or maybe 555. Now the car ID doesn't matter. You can give any certain value that you like. So in this case we're just going to give car ID 3. So since the car ID becomes 3, this ID is not going to change for any car in the specific region. Alright? Now what's a real number? A real number is a fractional or decimal number. That's it. All you need to know is anything like 5.5. Now these variables, these real numbers, boolean and strings, they're all like certain data types. So 5.5 is a real number because it's a decimal. You can make this in your fraction form and you get a fraction form of half. It becomes 0 0.5. So that's a real number. Now what's a boolean? A boolean is anything that is true or false. I think in the further videos I'm going to show you how to use boolean questions. It's usually when you're using while statements, a while loop. So you can say while, you know, cars the value maybe equals a true or something like that it uses the word true or false j j just to know uh, the area that I'm running this code is I'm using PyCharm which is a really good enter development uh, IDE for running the Python code you guys can use any certain IDE you guys like so I'm using PyCharm to uh, run the Python program code all right now since we know that boolean is true or false, remember in Python programming there is a certain syntax or rules that's you need to understand in your IGCSEs syntax just means the rules for programming. So stating that a word cars and calling it a variable cannot be done, I mean it can be considered a variable name 
but you cannot print car like that on the output screen. Now, what do I mean by this is if I run, this is the run button, if I run this piece of code, it's not going to print because car is not defined. This is a name error. So indirectly, in that can be name errors, it can be syntax errors or grammatical errors in the program while you're writing. So you need to follow the same structure and the format. So now I'm going to show you how do you print, how do I print forward? Okay, how do I print this word forward? Now in order to do that, it's so simple. You just need to write the word print. Now print, open the parentheses and put double quotation marks and you write the variable name, the value that you're storing in the variable name. So we're storing the value forward, the string forward in the variable name cars. So we're just going to print cars. So instead of opening the double quotation marks, you can just write cars. Now once you hit that run button, you should be getting the value forward. So it's printing on your screen there, so it should print, yeah, we're getting forward here. Otherwise, you can also print statements, instead of printing variable names as storing values, you can also print, you can hit the value print, with the word print, open the parentheses, open the double quotation marks, you can print sentences, what do you like to write? So, hello, like, subscribe. So. You can write subscribe there and print it out. Once you print it out, you should see that there's forward and there's the word subscribe. So automatically, you can print variables or you could print strings in the print function. All right. Okay. So this is some basic stuff in Python program. Now I'm just going to show you how are, this is for outputting certain variables or outputting statements. All right. Now how do we? Um, let's say how do we ask the user to enter a certain type of value now in order to do this we just need to hit the word input now input this word input function and in open parentheses everything is open parentheses this input can be stored in a variable or can be done separately so if I say input remember you can never write a piece of string without using the double quotation marks it's never gonna work enter let's say enter the car number okay I'm sure the car number you can never leave a piece of string in the brackets without using double quotation marks like I'll show you how it works so now can, can you guys see this it's an input error this is because it's an input error It's an invalid syntax so syntax remember like I said it's the rules for programming so you have to use the double quotation marks that's the only way that this Python program is going to understand how to implement this text. So now since I've put the double quotation marks here, it should input enter the car number. Alright, so now you can see you can enter a certain value in the car number. Alright, so you can say enter the car number. Maybe you can put a bit of colon there. So colons, colons, maybe. Just let's just run this code. So now you can enter some values like 56. Uh, if you hit enter, nothing's going to happen because there's no criteria being set for this input statement. Now, remember, like I said, input statements can also be done in variables itself. So if I have cars input, right, cars enter, let's say cars enter, enter is equal to, this is a variable, cars enter automatically becomes a variable because I put the equal sign. You can say cars enter is equal to, you can say input enter car name so this automatically becomes an input statement but in the variable right cars enter so now uh, this is gonna print actually let's see if this print uh, uh, but so once you hit 56 you're gonna print enter it's just saying enter the car name so you don't need to uh, print anything it'll automatically ask the user to input certain information or certain pieces of text. So you can enter the car name is, uh, let's say, Toyota, Toyota, I think that's it. So that's it. So you can enter stuff in the console. For other things, uh, like if you want to enter here, it's not possible. It's not possible to enter on in the forward, con in the forward uh, let's say, in the sentence of forward. It can only work if you're using the input function, all right? Okay. Now, how do we add and print numbers? Now, how do we add numbers in Python program? Now, if I hit the word, let's just all make this into comments. 
Now, what do I mean by comments? Is uh, it does it enables the code not to be run in the program. So what are you gonna just do? Control slash. That will make it all common. So it won't it won't run in the program terminal, right? So let's see if it works. Sorry guys, it's just reloading. So as you can see, nothing is being printed. So all right. Now, how do you print numbers? So if I hit two plus two, if I hit that number, it's not gonna print anything on the console. As you guys can see, two plus two becomes nothing on the terminal, on the run terminal. So now, how do we do this? You can either store this in terms of variables. You can say variable is equal to, uh, maybe you can say addition. Addition is equal to two plus two. So let's try it again. 2 plus 2, nothing is printing, even though you store this piece of text in uh, the word addition. Now, how do we how do we how do we solve this? We want to print numbers, right? So let's see if what happens when we print this variable addition. So once you print this variable addition, it should give you the result of 4. Now the reason is this is not going to work on its own since you need to store variables, store certain numbers or pieces of text. So the Python program is going to interpret it as a piece of text. So in order to print this certain value, you just need to store it in a variable name. In this case, I've given an addition, and you're going to just going to print that variable name addition to get the value four. Now let's see if we can divide, uh, if we can subtract some numbers. So if I say subtraction, uh, let's say ten minus five, it should print this variable name subtraction, right? It should print subtraction. So let's see if that works as well. So it gives you the value 5, 10 minus 5 becomes 5. The same thing applies for multiplication. For multiplication, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. This is very basic steps. For multiplication, you have the same basic steps. You can maybe do 2 times 4. And you're going to print multiplication on the terminal. So now, how do you print this? You're just going to print multiplication. So you should be getting 8. So you indirectly get 2 times 4 is 8. Now for division, you're just going to use a slash. So what I mean by this is 4 slash 2. Okay. In order for division, for multiplication, you use an asterisk over there. And you're just going to hit print division. So you just need to have some good practice at, uh, you know, play, play around with the Python programs and learn some stuff in that, that way. It's, it's very fun when you understand how Python works. So run this and you should be getting 2.0. 2.0, the reason why it's given as 0 0.0 is because you're dividing something, right? So you're getting a quotient, I think, yeah. So you're getting a quotient and that means that it's a real number since it's a decimal notation form. You can consider it as an integer. Remember, integers are just numbers, all right? All right, so now, since we know what an input statement is, we know what how to use print function now I'm just going to show you some basic, uh, I think some basic steps for printing using if statements. Now you need to understand that if statements, they use certain conditions such as less than equal to or greater than equal to. Okay, so if I say, if he stores something in, in cars, right, cars is equal to, let's say Ford, all right, and we're going to say cars enter is equal to input enter name of car okay so now what I'm doing is I'm storing the word Ford and cars and the name of cars so now how do you use if statements you say you just say if if cars enter I'm just mentioning this reference if cars enter now is equal equal now the reason I'm putting equal equal is to specify that this if function, if cars is equal equal to something, it's not going to work if you put one equal sign. So you have to put two equal signs. This is some syntax rules for Python programming. So if cars enter is equal to cars. Now, what do I mean by this? Is any value that is being input by the user in this variable name cars enter, and you're inputting the name of the car, for example, you give the name of the car as Toyota, it should be equal equal to cars equals four, four right? Now, in for closing an if statement, you just need to press shift colon to close it. Now, you've given your criteria for an if function, but you can you can return certain stuff after it. You can say print, you're using a print statement, open the parentheses and print your
car ID is three. Your car ID is three. So now what this happens is I've mixed a lot of stuff. I've mixed variables, I've mixed input statements, I've mixed print statements, I've mixed an if statement. So this is how Python programming, it. Python programming is a high level language. So it's basically very close to human language, right? So let's see, let's run this to see what happens, okay? So as you can see, oh, let, let's just uh, delete these parts. We do not need them. Let's just run this again. Okay, once you run this, enter the name of the car. Now, I'm going to I'm going to have two conditions here, okay? So I'm going to enter now the actual word Ford. So once I enter Ford, this should give me the console should print your car ID is 3. So if I hit enter, it should print that your car ID is 3. Now, what happens if I enter something else instead of Ford? All right, let's run this. So, if I enter something else instead of Ford, you're gonna get enter in the name of the car. So if I say Toyota, Toyota, and if I enter, it should print nothing because you haven't given any condition. Now, in order to print something that is not off the value of this car's enter, you can say you can use the word elif, elif, or elif is remember elif is used if you have more conditions, or you could just use else. Else just closes that if statement, and you can say print. Thank you. And print, like, and share. All right. And once you run this, you should say enter the name of the car. If I say Toyota, Toyota, since the value of Toyota, Toyota is not of cars enter, right? It's not stored in the value cars, in the variable name cars. Once you enter that, it should not print your car's ID is three, but it should print thank you, like, and share. <laughs> right? So it should print thank you, like, and share. So this is some basic idea on how you can mix variables, how you can mix real numbers, how you can mix uh, Boolean statements, but not, in this case we're not using any Booleans, but we're using a set of conditions. We can use if statements, input statements, print statements, strings. So it shows you how you can club all of this together to create uh, awesome pieces of code using Python programming language, all right? So hopefully this video has covered like the basic tips and tricks you guys can use, uh, basic understanding of how this works. Uh, I'm going to make new videos on how to do while statements and all of that stuff. So all right, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and please do comment below what your thoughts are on, uh, on the videos that I have posted before. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the video, all right? Bye, guys.